For something to have intrinsic value, it has to be useful by itself. For example, bread's useful because you can eat it, and people need to eat. The knife is useful because it can cut things, and that comes handy in everyday life. Gold has some intrinsic value because one can make jewellery from it and conductors. The thing is, if the price of gold was based just on its intrinsic value, it would be about 50 not up to $1,800. That's the percentage that's used in the industry, the rest is just because of its store of value use. But even with that partial intrinsic value, it's still considered the best store of value there is. Now cash, it doesn't have intrinsic value whatsoever. Yeah, you can burn them to keep yourself warm, but that's not a very efficient use of it. It used to be backed by gold, which has partial intrinsic value, but that's no longer the case. The US dropped gold standard in 71, and the rest of the world shortly followed. So fiat money has zero intrinsic value, but they are still one of the most used things worldwide. So how come? Well, they're extremely convenient compared to barter trading that used to be the norm before money was invented. So they are convenient and the government says that we should use them and that's about it. Now Bitcoin is digital cash, so even if a single Bitcoin doesn't have an intrinsic value by itself, it's okay since cash doesn't have either. Bitcoins are just the cash of the future because they take all the features of cash and make them much better. But wait, it gets better. So how about the Bitcoin network? Does this have an intrinsic value? Think for a second how useful it will be if your phone's network didn't exist and you couldn't speak to anyone. It would be as useful as a brick. So even if a Bitcoin by itself is just a bunch of numbers, the network behind it has an enormous value because it lets you do so many things just better. So here's a few examples. One, it doesn't care about borders and local policies. It's a non-discriminative global currency that just works for everyone. Two, it requires no trust in some central authority or bank. It's based on math, not trust. And you don't have to trust that 2 plus 2 is 4. You can just see for yourself. Three, it cannot be counterfeit. Four, it can be transparent. That might come in handy for government spending, monitoring, once it goes mainstream. Five, it can be programmed to do whatever you like. 6. It can be set to require agreement from few people at once to be spent. And 7. It can be spent all over the internet. 8. Your identity can't be stolen when using bitcoins online, unlike credit cards. And this is just the beginning. Like the internet in 95, who would have imagined back then how many things it would allow us to do today? Back then, nobody envisioned most of them, and now, 20 years later, it's completely changed our lives in so many ways. Quite beautiful, isn't it? Please comment, subscribe, like, and Reddit if that's what floats your boat. Every bit of sharing, the knowledge helps.